How you guys doing here at the Wholesale to Be dashboard once again? Just another quick tip on how I use a Wholesale to Be to find some some good items to sell online, whether it be through Amazon, eBay, or preferably your own website. That's normally how I like to utilize Wholesale to Be. I know a lot of you guys have seen me talking about Wholesale to Be on Amazon, which works very well for me. But you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. If you use wholesale to be to sell through your own website uh, via like Shopify or another uh, e-commerce platform of, of that nature, this way you're not paying those those seller fees. So I I tend to make uh, some serious uh, profit selling through my drop shipping stores. Okay, um, but the Amazon and eBay does come in effect and they do help out. And I, I've showed you guys proof, especially on Amazon. So. Um, with that said, let's just hop into it. Uh, once again, this is uh, the items that have sold today or recently on uh, Amazon. And um, not on Amazon, on Wholesale TV. Uh, but we're going to come over here to reports. We're going to click on, last time we clicked on top selling items report, we're going to click on most popular items report. And in this, they're going to show you the top 20 items sold on Wholesale to be. Okay. And so this top item right here. You see, sold over two thousand times on on wholesale to be, um, and then you can just scroll down and kind of just uh, use this as a reference. You don't have to sell these exact items. You already know this is through uh, <clears throat> the wholesale to be platform that these items are selling. Okay, and so uh, that's a great way to utilize this to to uh, source some items. Now, a lot of times, what wholesale to be some items depending on on the items they won't be cheaper than like than the items that you may be able to find on amazon prime or or even on ebay sometimes or whatever but what you can do is use this information to if you can find this item you always look for the cheapest price on an item but if you can find the item at a cheaper price somewhere else you already know you have confirmation over here that these items are selling and they're selling very well okay within the last month so um, that's one thing so here uh, this these little guys I know from experience I can get these things for dollars and I think wholesale to be is selling them maybe for 10 bucks or whatever so this is something I, I would definitely add into um, my Amazon uh, um, store um, I really I stay away from the perfumes and stuff like that. Um, there's not going to be enough money in this little guy for me. Um, hmm. Okay, that's uh, Halloween. So we're not going to mess with that. That's seasonal. But um, something like this is down comforter. Something like this would be uh, expensive. I would definitely go and source this item right here. Okay, let's see. Come here. You gonna pop up, baby? Yeah. Okay. So shows right here. My cost for this item would be thirty-eight dollars and forty-five cents. Selling on eBay at a low price, uh, at a uh, sixty dollars and eighty-seven cents on average. So uh, just some quick math. eBay and Amazon is about the same on fees. Fifteen percent in fees. eBay has a little difference with the categories you sell in. Uh, we can go to the eBay calculator pop that in but what I like to do I like to do some quick math and just uh, see if uh, what's this gonna cost me so if I sold this at sixty dollars and eighty seven cents times dot eight five which would be my fifteen percent fee I'll have fifty one dollars and seventy three cents to spend on this item we can get it from wholesale to be for thirty eight forty five Minus 38.45. Okay, we make 13 bucks on every item sold on this. All right, we already know from the website that within a month, 198 of these have sold, uh, preferably most often on eBay. So, what I would do, I would go and create me an eBay listing, a damn good eBay listing, and get my $13 on each item sold on that. So, that's one way of utilizing. Uh, the wholesale to be uh, platform to make you some serious sales. Also, uh, I would go and let's see what this is selling for on Amazon. I was, well, I was checking this. Uh, uh, uh. 
Let's see. That's just way too many. <laughs> this is way too big of a title. Um, all right. Selling for $44.99 on Amazon. One down here for $63.24. I would definitely, I would list this on Amazon too as well, you know. Um, so uh, I'd list this up here at this one right here. But I would also go and put that on eBay. So with that said, guys, th that's just a quick tip. Hopefully that guys that's that's helped you out. Once again, we went to reports, went down to most selling, most popular items this time. Scroll down, and I would look for items that would make me a, a good uh, profit on items. I I got a buddy of mine who loves selling these these uh, cheaper items, and he sells a bunch of them a day. Uh, which is great. They add up, but I, I like to go for a little bit more bang for the buck. So look for something that's a little bit more expensive. This top selling item changes daily. This does not stay the same. So anyways, uh, God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. All right. Bye-bye.